What up guys, it's Jay here from TV Time with Jay, and I am back with another review for you guys, and this time I am here to review Archer Season 11, Episode 7, Caught Napping. Now, as per usual with my episode reviews, I'll be recapping the event of the episode, and then going over my thoughts and feels about the different plot points all throughout. So if you haven't seen the episode yet, do yourself a favor, watch the episode first, then come back here and tell me your thoughts and feels in the comments down below, because I will be going into spoiler territory. You have been warned. Yeah, sorry you guys, I apologize. For missing uh, the the uh, last two episodes, the double eight episode and the um, episode uh, centered around Alistair the Valet, and I uh, will quickly talk about those before we jump into episode seven. Uh, this is the penultimate episode of season eleven, but good news, folks! Archer has been renewed for a 12th season, so uh, we get more Archer goodness, which is great because this season has been absolutely fantastic. So let's quickly talk about the uh, Valet episode, uh, which uh, centered around Alistair, the new Valet that was introduced towards the end of the Robot Factory episode, which was the last one that I covered. So... You know, surprise, surprise, Alistair turns out to be a secret villain. But they do actually do a, a nice twist on this, you know, predictable plot point because his target isn't actually Archer. His target is Cyril Figgis because during Archer's three-year coma, Cyril has become the world's best spy, you know, the top field agent over at ISIS. So this was really cool. And also it kind of like exposes like, you know, Archer's low key, like friendship with Cyril. You know, the fact that, you know, Cyril's all he ever talks about. Cyril is the main person that he, you know, he always brings up. He's the person that, you know, Archer wanted to show his office to first, you know, all this other stuff. Um, and also it kind of like shines light on some, one of my only real complaints about Archer season 11 is um, the serial, the shitting on serial joke got old really fast. So making fun of Cyril in the beginning of the show, like the first few seasons, when Cyril was just an incompetent whiny baby who uh, kind of just got in the way, yeah, that was funny. But now that Cyril is actually competent and he can actually add things to the mission, Archer being a dick to him is just kind of unnecessary and uh, annoying. To be honest, I mean, yes, Archer has always been annoying and unnecessary, but, you know, usually, you know, when he throws jabs at people, it's kind of endearing and like it's part of his charm. But honestly, like the serial stuff has just kind of been unnecessary. You know, I've gotten quite a few comments from other people, uh, you know, in my episode reviews talking about how like, man, I feel bad for Cyril. Poor Cyril is just getting the shaft all throughout like season 11 phrasing. But, like, this was kind of the peak of that. And I, I just felt so bad for him, man. He finally has made it to the top. He has finally, you know, become the skilled agent that he always wanted to be. And Archer won't even let him have that. That just, that sucks. That really sucks. Um, now, it did, I did feel bad for Archer, you know, having to kill Alistair at the end. Because, you know, he did finally find a valet that, you know was good and you know he learned to love again you know as he as he said at the end of that episode so you know i think that episode was still pretty fun but again it showed to me that you know archer is just being unnecessarily dickish to cyril and it continues on into, into the double date episode right uh, because he brings uh, a new girl gabrielle with him on a double date with lana and robert and you know Clearly, Gabrielle has a uh, striking resemblance to Lana, um, both in personality and obviously in looks as well. And, you know, Archer decides to try to take her along on the mission. And, you know, he realizes, uh, you know, pretty uh, later on into the date that, like, yeah, yeah, he mostly just asked her out for a personal vendetta, and that was wrong. And so she dips. She ends up making friends with Lana. And, you know, Archer feels bad as the cycle continues. Uh, but poor Cyril, once again, he gets kind of left behind. No one shows him any respect, even though he's worked so hard to climb his way up the ranks during Archer's, you know, coma period. 
They still don't give a shit about him. Poor fucking Cyril, man. I'm going to keep preaching this, but I feel so bad for this man. Uh, and, you know, Pam and the others, you know, go to cheer him up. Which, that part was fun. Uh, but, yeah. You know, Archer and Lana, of course, continue their dynamic. And, that, you know, they air their shit out. And, you know, Archer kind of realizes, all right, I made the mistake here. But, of course, he's Archer, so that growth lasts all of, like, three seconds. Because, you know, he's Archer. But now, let's talk about Episode 7. We finally get to see AJ because, in this episode, AJ is kidnapped by Peregrine. And so, they go full-on Taken, and, of course, you know, Lana activates Mama Bear mode and is ready to rampage. And she just goes total badass on all of them it's pretty great um and of course you know she ends up saving aj with archer's help but archer of course he's expecting to save his daughter and then her to run into his arms and call her dad but you know robert was there for most of her life and so you know robert is the dude who raised her and Robert is the guy she calls daddy and uh, it breaks Archer's heart uh, but the episode does end on a really sweet note where uh, she uh, you know refers to Archer as Sleeping Beauty and she kissed him so that he would wake up but it took a lot longer than she expected to that is so sweet and also I love that she even has like little bits of Archer mannerisms, right? She's sipping on a juice, uh, juice box and Archer's about to talk and she goes, ah, sip, 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 ah, sip, 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 sip. You replace that juice box with a glass of whiskey and Archer nonchalantly sipping as someone's trying to talk to him. He holds the finger up, same mannerisms. You know, obviously she's not nearly as much of an asshole as her biological father. But, man, uh, I, I love seeing that little, like, quirk to her that she definitely got from Archer. Um, so I'm hoping we get to see more of AJ as time goes on. Uh, we see that the rest of the crew um, that's part of ISIS obviously loves AJ. Pam was ready to rampage, um, of course. And, you know, Krieger and Archer... Um, you know, we're both ready to rock with the weapons. And Cyril once again comes through to help Archer, but even in that time, Archer just continues to shit on him. Once again, poor Cyril. Justice for Cyril. Like, if you agree with me, tell me in the comments. Do you think Cyril deserves better than this? Because honestly, like, I'm, I'm kind of tired of this joke. Uh, but overall, once again, great episode. I was very, very happy to see AJ. That was one of the biggest things I wanted to see, you know, in this post-coma Archer season. So I cannot wait to see what the finale has to offer. And of course, I cannot wait to see season 12 when it eventually comes out. Of course, I will be back next week to cover the finale. So uh, definitely, if you like what I do here and you want to see more from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And the fall TV season is really starting up once again. So uh, if you like what I do with Archer, I'll be covering a bunch of other TV shows as well. So like I said, do the usual YouTube things. Like, comment, and subscribe. In the outro card, I will leave links to my latest Archer episode review, which was the Robot Factory episode. As well as a video YouTube mysterious algorithm things you might like, which I hope you do. But until next time, guys, this is Jay from TV Time with Jay. And I'll catch you guys in the next review. You may now exit the danger zone. Peace.